Hey guys, Jimmy here and welcome to Race 07 for another video. Now before we get into this video, I'm going to answer the two main questions people are going to ask in the comments below. One, I'm aware that I'm clean shaven, it's horrible, I hate it. And two, the Huskinvale pedals are not hooked up yet because the rest of the rig has not arrived. So I'm still sort of slogging through on the old Thrustmaster pedals which are pretty much on life support now. But back to the video at hand, we are at Brands Hatch with a full field of 1998 Super Tourers from the BTCC. Now, for me personally, this era of touring cars was the best we've ever had. Um, I grew up with this. I remember having a VHS of the 1997 season review that I'd watch over and over and over again because the action was so good. You have Murray Walker commentating. It was just fantastic. I mean, the viewing figures for these touring car races, you know, it was, it was rivaling F1 <laughs> at one point. It was that popular. So I'm going to try and recreate a bit of that today. As I said, we're at Brands Hatch Indy Circuit. We're going to be doing a 15 lap race against the AI on 110% difficulty. Um, the AI aren't quite as fast as I'd like them to be, but it's the best I can do. 110% is the max you can have them on. They're pretty feisty though, so it should make some you know, pretty realistic touring car racing. I should probably mention that I'm going to be repping the Renault Laguna as well. Uh, the From about 96 onwards, this car was pretty much always at the top of the field till the end of Super Tourers. So I thought it would be a really cool car to drive. And also, I actually quite like the uh, sort of Nest Cafe golden blend green livery it's got for some reason. Green and gold just goes well for me. But enough blabbering. Let's go and do the business. Lights on. The 15 laps here. Brands that Chinji in the Super Tourers. Waiting for the lights. And there they go. Ah, bit of a bad start there, but it will split the front. But what do you expect with 300 horsepower trying to go through those front tyres? Away we go then. 15 laps at Brands Hatch Indy. Down to Paddock Hill for the first time. Going to put it down into third gear and just be nice and cautious through here, trying to avoid people. Always his own people to sort of bunt up, as you can see. Private is a bit slow in the exit. I'm going to take advantage and try and get up the inside. Swiss like can. Radishes and Baird have contact there. A bit slow through T1, having to wait, having to wait. Come on, impatience getting the better of me. Mash the throttle there, will spin at the front. Now down to Graham Hill for the first time. We slot in between Radisic and Harvey. And the Peugeot, as you can hear the front tyres just scrambling for traction. Fourth gear. And now fifth gear, a little blend and break of the throttle here. There you go, nice. And breaking a straight line as possible. Coming into clearways. Not quite enough room to get past Harvey here. See if we can sneak up on the inside. How understeer that we're also familiar with Harvey slow off there. Thank you very much. We're through now on to Will Hoy in the V6 Mondeo. Just before they got good, there were those horrible lumps of blueness. Ah, fourth gear through there. Maybe I should be using third, but fourth felt okay. You can hear the car struggle to slow down. Of course, the steering, the acceleration, and the brakes all geared towards the front ends. Those front tyres are being absolutely tortured throughout this race, but that's what makes it so fun. I love a bit of front wheel drive. As you probably know by now, through Graham Hill again. <laughs> Listen to him scramble for grip. Up for the gears. Matt Neal on the outside is going to be keeping us a little bit slow. Going to try and go. No. How much I can do here? Got to stay behind Hoy. Oh, sorry, Hoy. Getting into the BTCC spirit there. Smash the throttle to try and avoid the car going around. But you've got to try and do if you have a spin in this sort of car. If the rear end goes, you have to mash the throttle and try and put it back around again. Usually it works. The front wheel drive save. Pretty spectacular when they get it right now. Up on the inside of Neil. Probably should give him a little bit of a biff on the way through. Go for the Neil style overtake, but I'm better than that. Well, not really. We go, we go, try and go up the inside. He's still now, so they're hanging on though. And that Primera. Break hard, hard, hard. Don't lock the brakes. Okay. Good. We're all right. Just about. Up to P13. And now more Bedelli is next in our sights. Making good progress in this Laguna. The Laguna, of course, one of the front running cars of this era. I sort of expect to be carving through these guys fairly easily more Bedelli though not quite that quick in that s40 from memory it was all on rydell who's towards the top of the field you can see the standing to me across the line on the top left hand side of the screen geared very short round here fourth gear fifth in that slipstream, stream and then sixth gear not even 200 kilometers now and now finally 200 kilometers now getting up to about 130 or so before breaking down for panic hill sorry giving more Bedelli a bit of a punt there btcc pass I like a little bit of a uh, telling off there from the pit engineer. But he's alright, don't worry about him. A second gear for Druids. Keep it tight. Good feel. The front tyres trying to scrabble away from you through there. You have to be really patient. A little bit of a gap now, opening up in front. We'll try and gain back in again, just touching the rev limiter on the way out there as the tyres scramble for traction. Fifth gear, come on, be brave. Take the curb on the inside. Breaking a straight line. Ah, not too much. This car is still a bit of a challenge to drive. 
There you go. Just burning them out. I was only a 50 in that race. I can burn these tyres as much as I want. Cross the line again. Jordan P12 coming on to lap 5 now. Paddock Hill. Easy. Fourth gear trying to use that bit of that curb on the inside. And just let it drift to the outside. And then use the uphill of Druids to break in a little bit later than you usually would. See, I'm getting a little bit of understeer now. Guys in front of this, of Cox and Bird, seem to be... Baird, sorry. They seem to be fighting a little bit, which could be good for us. I'm taking a little bit too much curb on the way in there. It's then straightening up the car. Making Grand Hill a little bit slower for me. It's a blend of the throttle now. Just trying to be as aggressive as possible. Without overworking those front tyres. I know I said I, wanna, I can burn them up, but they do get hot. You have to sort of just rein it back in for a couple of laps and then go on the attack again. We are catching the guys in front, which is good. Visibly, we're catching them. Again, up through the gears. Sift gear, top gear. Again, using that little bit of elevation there to break. I know that's not really there in real life, but... Use all we can in the sim. Baird goes wide. I have a... Think about the inside. Show my nose. He sees me, he sees me, he sees me. Oh, on the curb. On the throttle. Side by side, then. Down to Graham Hill. He's still there, he's still there. Trying to give him as much room as possible. Come round the outside. Come on, Laguna. Give him the speed. And we're past. Nice. Up to P11. Top 10 right in front of us with Cox. Thank you very much, Coxie. Too slow. Got to try harder than that. <laughs> I love how the revs rise to the front wheels. So you just lose traction. Rydell leading from Reed then at the front. Big gap now between me and the Vox. So we've got to try and close that down as quick as possible. We've got sort of caught up dealing with slower traffic. It's part of the part of the thing around here, yellow flag, so there's been a little bit of contact in front, that might help them bring back into contention, we can hope so anyway again, ah, you can see the understeer there visibly, you can feel it in the wheel as well, it's very frustrating gotta try it and get back into contention fairly soon we're already nearly halfway through this race very short laps here around Browns Indy doing my best lap, just under 50 seconds again, breaking that straight line Coax it into the corner and then softly, softly, and then nail it. Let the car understeer a little bit. Up for the gears again. The only thing this this video is missing for me or this experience is Murray Walker calling the race. Of course, that's going to be a bit difficult to do. You can hear me yabber instead. <laughs> and Race 07, I must say, it doesn't feel the best. It is an old sim and it feels old. But the smile on my face, I first first half when driving this around this circuit when I finally got my fourth C back sorted it was a big one this nostalgia and the memories of this era of BTCC coupled with the fact that I'm driving a Laguna around Brown's Hatch and rubbing doors you know with names that well big names in the touring car area it was just a fantastic experience but we're actually now we are closing onto the back of the box we've got Cleland first then Warwick and then Muller in front of them in the Audi giving it the best I can run here just a couple of attempts of my best time so we're running pretty well right now got to try and just make sure I get paddock right try not to lock the brakes too much no ABS or traction control on these things which is why you're hearing the revs rise so much and me sort of understeering a little bit into druids every now and then that was better though isn't that curb news look how much we've gained just through there that's what we've got to be doing I think a race win isn't is uh, going to be a little bit of an ask, but we'll do our best once we get there, I think. We'll sort of know realistically where we can end up for this race. And chill through there, come on. And softly. Good, good. Come on. I don't like being in this little bubble. Who's behind us anyway? Is it Cox is still behind us? Bit of a big difference here in the AI files, it seems. The top lot you're given sort of superior speed and handling whilst once you get to the midfield, that sort of just slows down. Ah, oh, that's bad through there. Just use all the runoff on the exit. You can use it. It's green. Doesn't doesn't slow you down. No penalty for using it either. Gives you a bit of contact in front. Yeah, there is contact in front. Cullen slow. So is Miller. So it looks like Miller and Warwick came together because Warwick's past Miller now. And in front of them is the first Renault friend. <laughs> really gulling it through Graham Hill. Just trying to get as much speed as I can through there as the wheels spin up. Easy, easy, good. Round, round. And look how much closer we are now to that, that Vauxhall. 
a veteran. He never really had any success in BTCC. But Colonel No, a legend of touring cars. Let's see if we can get our look in the past him, shall we? Ah, understeer through Paddock Hill. I mean, it's going to start happening now as we're getting a bit later into this race. I know only short laps, etc. But the, the way you punish the tyres around here in these sort of sprint races, towards the end, you do start feeling a little bit of loss of grip. That was better. The stand the throttle out. Who's that in front? There's, I think that's Leslie at the head of this little pack here. In one of the Nissans, it looks like right out and, uh, and Reed have checked out. But still a chance for us to get a couple of positions yet. So it's coming up to the end of lap 11 now onto lap 12. So three laps to go as we cross the line. And we're starting to reel in the cars in front. Come on, little Renault. Smash the on the way out of Paddock Hill. I'm not really, I don't really care now if we go wide there. I've got that runoff on the exit to use. But use all the tricks in the book and a, a couple more that aren't in the book. Secret tricks. Secret tricks such as smashing the throttle all the time and understeering. Best secret trick. <laughs> Bouncing off the rev limiter, I love that. It's so cool. Come on now. Ah, everyone looking up through there. You can see the tire marks left on the on the circuit. And finally, now we might have Ronald Clemens here. We do have Ronald Clemens. Going to go to the inside. He's coming across. He's coming across. Just enough room for us to get there. Side by side now, Cleveland. Going down the T1. Top gear. Really aggressive on the downshifts there, just to try and get it in. He's still there on the outside. Just about managed to hang it around. We're still though side by side coming up to Drewers now. It's got to be a done deal. Thank you very much, past Cleveland. That's one position gain up to P9. Now no, he's still there on the outside. I'm going to try and square it off. There you go. Push him out. That's that done. The P9. Come on. P8 is right in front of us. Muller sort of goes defensive there. Going to go up the inside. Oh, not quite enough speed to do that. I'm still on the outside. Going to cut back. Coming into clear ways. Come on. Use the curb to turn the car. He's still there on the outside. Come on. We're going to the wider way around though. And there you go. Through. P8. Coming on to the penultimate lap now. How many more places can we gain? A hard charging Renault from the back. Play time in front of Warwick. Was just playing the, fr the throttle through there. Who's that head of Plato? It is the moustache himself, Nigel Mansell. Mansell putting that forward in places it had no business being. And to show you just the talent of him as a driver. Ah, come on, I'm really trying now. Those tyres, I don't care what happens to those tyres now. Just, just get me higher up the field, come on. We can just get a good run. On clearways, no. Warwick has a good run through. They're coming on to the last lap now. Any moves are going to be desperate moves. P7, I think, should be achievable. P6, maybe. Depends how if we're quick enough getting past Warwick or not. If we manage to get past Warwick. Oh, dirty Derek. Oh, that Voxel looks pretty planted through there, though. Going to go for the late move up to Druid. He leaves a little bit of room. Not enough mid to get through, though. Come on. Leslie's sort of backing everyone up right now. Graham Hill on the power so early through there. Big wheel spin there, you see, just didn't quite get any traction that time. Tire starting to give up a little bit. Gonna be a late move from Warwick if it's gonna be one. Gonna give it a go anyway. Up the inside, not quite. Come on! Damn it! Although it's gonna be a race to the line. Come on, Laguna. Come on, give it to me. Come on, give me the speed. No, we're not going to quite make it. Ah, oh, but there you go. Finish in P8 then. In Alain Menu, Alain Menu's Renault Laguna. What a rush. That was so much fun. I love driving cars like this around this circuit. Brands Hatch and Touring Cars is such a great combination. Oh. <sighs> Fantastic. But guys, if you enjoyed that, I certainly did. Make sure to hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit subscribe to be notified of future videos. I'll put a link to the mod down below. You can give it a go for yourself. Race 07, still providing fun well, nearly 10 years later. So thanks for watching, guys. Have an awesome day. See you next time.